People want to know. Carmen San Diego. And one of these gumshoes could find her. He's lived in Virginia and North Carolina and likes basketball. Meet Jazreel Richardson. She was born in Jamaica and enjoys swimming and biking. Meet Rosanny Reynolds. He swam with dolphins in the Bahamas and loves to play baseball. Meet Ira Dunn. <laughs> And here's Acme's senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee! Hi guys, how are you? What a crowd, I'm telling you, nice to see you guys, thanks a lot. Woo! Hi, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Rosanna, good to see you. Jasmine, nice to see you, man. Thanks a lot, guys. Hey, listen, they're with me every day. Help! Okay, Gumshoes, just a quick reminder for you. The one of you that catches Carmen San Diego today is going to get that trip to anywhere in North America. And that is not bad, ladies and gentlemen. So, Chief, who are we after? This is Wonder Rat. Wonder Rat. A wannabe fat cat dressed like a rat with a brain the size of a gnat. His last known whereabouts? South America. High in the Andes Mountains of Peru, the mighty Amazon River begins its 4,000-mile trek across the rainforests of South America. Along the way, hundreds of rivers feed its rush to the Atlantic coast of Brazil, where it empties more water into the ocean than any other river in the world. The Amazon Basin is home to countless plant and animal species, most of which we know little or nothing about. But many we have studied provide valuable medicine and knowledge. Or they did, until today. Oh, no. When Wonder Rat brazenly breezed into Brazil with a king-sized pump of industrial strength hose, he switched on his chump pump, drained the entire Amazon, then whisked the water away. Now he's using it to fill his big cheese pool. Too bad that rat face forgot that piranhas like rodents as snacks. Gumshoes, grab him before the fish do and solve today's case. A rodent ran through it. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, guys, trying to find Wonder Rat and the Amazon River. To help you out, we're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. There they are. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we're going to start, we're going to uh, give you 10 more Crime Bucks. Ring! And uh, the two of you with the highest scores at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. Have you heard that before? You'd think I had. Okay, guys, so let's get started now with our very first clue, which comes to us with an agent from an agent from Acme Money Talks Net. Here it is. Hello, gumshoes. Queen Elizabeth here. Why is my picture on the currency of a North American nation? Well, this country was once a colony called British Honduras. It became independent in 1981, but then neighboring Guatemala kept threatening to invade. British troops kept that from happening, and lately things have settled down. Now that wretched rat is stirring up trouble, and I need you to stop him. I've got enough headaches keeping Charles and Di out of the headlines. <laughs> Me? Okay, Gumshoes, name the country, if you will, please, where Wonder Rat has taken the Amazon River. Is it Haiti? Nicaragua or Belize. Remember the clues that we heard. North America, formerly British Honduras, and borders Guatemala. Okay, Ira's ready. So is Rosani, and Jazreel is now ready. Ira, what do you think? I think it's Belize. Belize. What do you think, Rosani? Belize. Belize. Uh, Jazreel. Nicaragua. Nicaragua. The answer we're looking for is Belize. Nice job, Ira and Rosani. <laughs> All right, Gumshoes, for our next clue, let's check in with Misfits in the Attic. You're going to like it. Come on, listen up while we wreck it. Go to an island, grab that nan and just check it. It's by the Atlantic, that much is plain. It belongs to a province that borders man. And if hunger is your next impulse, try an edible seaweed known as dog. The locals like it raw or fried. fried. They toast it up or eat it dry. dry. They make soups and salads. They brew up tea. They eat it with eggs or with melted cheese. Now just one more thing, and after that we're gone. Now go find the rat in the Amazon. Mm. Oh yeah, this is the attic. I love that. Thanks, Don and Jeannie. Okay, guys, name the uh, Canadian province that we're talking about. Is it Nova Scotia, 
Newfoundland or New Brunswick. Remember the clues that we heard? Borders Maine and the Atlantic. Grand Manan Island and seaweed called Dolph. Looking for Wonderette and the Amazon River. Rosani is ready, so is Ira, and so is Jazreel. Ira, what do you say? It's in New Brunswick. New Brunswick. Rosani. I said New Brunswick. Same thing. Jazreel? It's in Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. The answer we're looking for is New Brunswick. Nice job, Rosani and Ira. Okay, guys, now it's time for one of my most favorite parts of the show. You ready? The lightning round! It's just a trick. I'm okay! Yeah! <laughs> All of these are about one of Red's most recent known whereabouts, which is New Brunswick. Oh, jeez. Uh, I'll give you five crime bucks every time you answer questions correctly. So, hands on the buzzer. Here is the first question. Listen carefully. When the British kicked out French settlers from what is now New Brunswick, many of them moved to the American South. By what name did they become known? Was it grits, baguettes, or Cajuns? Uh, Rosani. Cajuns. Cajuns is right. Nice job, Rosani. <laughs> Surprised you. Here's the next question. If you uh, put your car in neutral on New Brunswick's famed magnetic hill, the car will really seem to roll uphill. What causes this phenomenon? Is it extraterrestrials, an optical illusion, or giant magnets hidden under the road? A, B, or C? Ira. A. A, extraterrestrial. Sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. Rosani or Jazreel? Uh, Rosani? C. C, giant magnets hidden under the road. No, that's not the answer we're looking for. Uh, Jazreel, yes. B. An optical illusion is right. Nice job, Jazreel. Way to hang back, buddy. All right, you got 55 there. Here's the last question, guys. Folks from neighboring parts of New Brunswick, Maine, and Quebec shared the same French heritage, so they made up their own mythical country. What did they call it? Was it the Republic of Madawaska, Timbuktu, or Euro Disney? Uh, Rosani. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it's not uh, Euro Disney. Uh, Ira. Mm -hmm. uh, the Republic of Madawaska is right. Nice job. Very good. We got a very close game here, guys. You've done a very nice job. That's the way to do that. We're going to go now for our next. Have loop. you forgotten what day of the week it is? Oh no, I don't think so. Oh wait a minute, it's it's dance day, isn't it, Chief? Okay, uh, I got to go check with the Chief. I'll meet you guys in the alley, and uh, you guys come with me. Shall we, Chief? It would be my pleasure. What's today's dance? Well. It's a new one, Greg, uh -huh. but I'm sure you'll pick it up right away. Right. It's a little something we call the Pongalusi. The Pongalusi. What do I do? Uh, oh, that, oh, what are you doing? Uh, uh, just follow along, follow okay. along. All right. Oh, well, you're getting all ready. <laughs> well, you know, I've got a very good teacher. <laughs> Why, thank you. By the way, yeah. who won the viewer contest today? Ah, here they are right here, the winners. <laughs> Congratulations to the winners. Greg, Greg that looks like a chicken. It's more ostrich-like. Roll your ostrich. There you go. Okay. Uh, if you want to be a winner, here's what you do. Every time you watch the show, write down what got stolen and from where. When you've got four loose in location, put them on a postcard and send them to Ask Me Crime Next, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Every day, we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Jeff? Of course. Oh, Chief. Oh. You really danced divinely. <laughs> oh, it's my pleasure, oh. Greg. My pleasure. Hey, you Thank know, you. I, there's another dance called the uh, the Wacky Wombat. I can oh, teach oh, it to you. Greg, the Acme Handbook specifically states only one new dance per dance day. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. Mm. The Pink Hydrant is the hottest <laughs> Greg, dance. Greg, I said no. Next time. Next time. If I could just have a little traveling music, please. Sure. No, he really is quite good. 